And don't forget England face Brazil tomorrow from 7pm at Wembley. And of course, it's live right here on TalkSport. TalkSport Network, your home for all of the England action. This is where the heavyweights emerge. Hurricane, history maker and record breaker. It's one of the great sporting rivalries. Our mindset has got to be spot on. I don't think Brazil, this Brazil squad, is uh, going to frighten England. I don't think there's anything to fear there. Interestingly enough, the Brazilian media were playing exactly the same game. Their team, man for man, there's no. their team's far, far better than, than our team is. Now Rafinha down the right-hand side of the box, pulls it back, it comes to Vinicius Junior! 1-0! Brazil in front! What a magnificent goal that was from Brazil! Well, we want good performances, you know, we always have a high level of expectation. I expect England to win the European Championship. Every other bloody country that builds up ahead of momentum wins something. The two great games for Gareth could be a great week for Wembley. Who to stop them. England look like world beaters again. Yeah, it took the world beaters. The wonderful Adrian Durham brings you live commentary of England against Brazil. That's tomorrow at 7pm. Uh, Bentley, we found out today that Captain Harry Kane, Vice-Captain, your mate Jordan Henderson, didn't train today. Mm. If both of them are out, who should wear that armband? Um, I think probably Carl Walker would be probably my next yeah. in, in line. Um, Why Carl? Captain for Manchester City. Mm-hmm. Ever present, one of the most important players they've got. Um, does, does it matter where a player is on the pitch? To some, be people, a captain? some people say that, but I necessarily don't buy into all that because some people say strikers can never be because they can't see the whole picture. Yeah. But um, and then some people say not a goalkeeper because they're too far away. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got no issue. I just think if you're a leader on the pitch, like I think like England have got a few. Like you said, Henderson, Kane, you've got Carl Walker there. Yeah. I think John Stones, Stones Maguire could do it. Rice, Rice. Do you know what I mean? I think yeah. the, these guys could all do it. Even Pickford to a point. What what does a captain do, Benny? Now, apart from go heads and then go, oh, we'll have that end. Mm. What else do they do? Well, Jordan Henderson's a, a classic example talk, talker. I know, but here's my question: if if Jordan Henderson's on the field and he's not captain, yeah, he won't shut up. No, he's still the same Jordan Henderson, yeah, course, right? Yeah. So you've but, still no. got that player, whether, whether or not he's got an armband on. Well, he always used to have two, but well, maybe not two. But the mo- the two captains that I was always kind of brought up was either the one that was the most vocal. That was always screaming and shouting, the, the the huddles. And then you had the captain that led by example that maybe didn't say as much, but his performances on the pitch, you'd go, okay, mm. he's the leader. Do you know what I mean? Almost a little, a little bit like, where's Ronaldo for Portugal? He's probably not the most vocal. I've watched Portugal quite a fair few times, and yeah, he speaks, but it's not like screaming and shouting at like others. But he, boy, does he lead by example. Messi, another one for Argentina. Yeah, the, Leads by example. Um, so I, I think it's one of those where it's... The, the role of a captain maybe has changed, but I think England, as long as you've got leaders in the dressing room, then I think it's important. I think it's equally as important. You were captain yesterday for the All Stars. Yeah. You didn't really see a captain's performance. Well, you from did, you. Yeah, you did. Don't try it. No, 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 I didn't see you screaming, but get back. Yeah, that, this. by example, smashing them in. Well, the second half, you didn't. Well, they tried to mark, they put two on me. What do you want me to do? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you kept slipping over like you and I. Nah, the first half, I didn't it hurt. What was that all about? It really hurt. Like, okay, okay, classic example Bruno Fernandes, your captain. Good captain. Yeah. Yeah. No way. Yeah, does he like lead it. by example? Okay, I, I, when I say does he lead by example, I'm talking about the, the throwing himself to the ground. I don't throwing ever, his, I, no, no, throwing his arms all over the place, petulant with the referee. What kind of what kind of example is that? That's so horrible. So who, who should the main United captain be? <sighs> Let me think about your squad. So when everyone's fit, you got Wan Bissaka, probably Luke Shaw, maybe. Mm, you no. got Martinez. That, maybe. I, think, I, think that, I think that's the problem. You haven't really got that many with leaders. Tommy. You haven't got Casemiro. You, you haven't got that many leaders. Manu. You pick your, it's your team. You would you a captain be? Well, I, I, I'll, I'd be interested to see if it made a difference to Marcus Rashford. Oh no, absolutely not. Can he be your captain? No, I don't know. We'd have to change his game. I, I, I don't know who your captain. Like I look at other squads, certainly at the top end of the table. Let mm-hmm. me just have a little look. That's what we like to do, don't we, on this show? Um, <laughs> on this show, on this show, we love to look yeah. at the top of the table. Uh, Arsenal, Odegaard. If he's not the captain, yeah. You give it to Declan, Declan. Rice. Declan's not Jorginho, more than uh, equally okay. a captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Liverpool, they've got loads in their okay. squad. Van Dijk's obviously the main. He's the main guy, but Trent could be their captain yeah. as well. Even Alisson, to be fair. Robertson? Mm. No, 100%. Uh, Alisson, I see, is a captain. Another one. Man City, I mean. Could Salah be a captain? Yeah. 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 Take, take your pick, Man City. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, take they do, they do. Villa. Pick. Easily, Conza could be a captain. Mings has been captain. Yeah, I McKin's see. captain. Yeah. Douglas Luiz, Watkins. So there's leaders in the dressing room. Spurs. What about Son, though? Yeah, he's a great captain. Because he's he's a great captain, is he? Mate, he leads by example. He ne- the thing about Son, I don't see him shouting and screaming at people. Yeah, but what does he do? 
runs around like crazy, right. s- sets the example, scores goals. If he's if he doesn't score, he's li- at least he's trying to contribute. Okay. So you meant, let me ask you. You mentioned mo- moving slightly away, but staying with it. You mentioned Trent Alexander Arnold, right? Mm-hmm. Supposedly, Real Madrid are, are, are monitoring the situation. Jeez, so wow. he, obviously, Trent's won everything mm-hmm. possible. Um, his current contract expires in twenty twenty five. There have been no talk so far about spend, extending his stay. You've got other players in similar positions at Liverpool whose deal ends then. Um, you've got Mohamed Salah, you've got Alisson and Van, uh, Virgil van Dijk as mm. well. Uh, uh, is it a worry for Liverpool? You've got four of probably their best players, a third of their team. Their contracts are all coming to the end soon and it's coming to the end when the manager's leaving. Um, no, because I, I, I think most of them will sign new contracts at that, at that football club. Uh, Trent's an interesting one though even though he's born and bred which is why I think he'll stay but it doesn't make the job harder when you've got Real Madrid knocking on the door and when you look at the team they're trying to put together I mean Mbappe's already on his way there they're talking about they're trying to get Alfonso Davis yeah. from Bayern Bellingham's already there Bellingham's already there Valverde's already there do you know what I mean Vinicius Junior's already there you start going oh my goodness because if you get Trent in that team oh my goodness gracious me <laughs> what do you do against that? I don't know how they're affording it. Well, me neither, but I don't know what you do against if, that. If you're Trent and someone like Real Madrid, if you're anyone and Real Madrid come knocking, that's the, is that the one, that, are Real Madrid the biggest team now in the world? Yeah, one of them, 100%. The way they no, are. one of them, are they the biggest? I'd say probably the biggest. Right now they, they are. They knock on the door, you mm. go. But I think it's one of those, with him being from Liverpool, coming through their youth academy, like being outstanding for them ever since he got in the team, that's almost one that Liverpool just can't let go. You have to hold on to him. Because mm. he, he's almost... But if, 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 he's yeah. almost like... He is Liverpool... When, when kids look at Liverpool's team, mm. they can identify themselves with of him course. because he's from the area. But if he wants to play a more forward role and Liverpool won't offer him that, and Real Madrid will... Well, he's not, he's not, getting, well, he's not getting that midfield. <laughs> I'll tell you no, that right true. now. Okay, yeah, you're right. Like, even though he's range apart, Camavinga, Chouameni, yeah, Valverde, yeah, yeah. If, Bellingham... Um, you know I said are they the biggest side if they come knocking? Mm. If Haaland gets a call from Real Madrid, does he go? Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't, see, they're different because Man City have... You know, I mean, best team in the world right now. Yeah. He's come off the back of the treble. But, but do, do I but, see? But Haaland... you're, you're, you're living in Spain, in Madrid. Yeah. You're playing for Real Madrid. I, I don't. I don't think he'll stay at Man City for the rest of his career, though. No, nor do I. Like for whatever reason, people talk about him going to um, Real Madrid at some point. But you, you're saying that. But if Man City can win the, the Champions League again this year, what's the point of staying? Not so what, what's the point of staying. But he could go. He could rack up. His, his trophy cabinet would be full to yeah. the brim. Yeah. Interesting. That. Do you think Trent will go? No, I, I think that's one you've okay. just got to go. I know you've got the Virgils and the you've got the Virgils, you've got the Salas, and you got. All, I, I get all that right, but I think for someone who is in their squad, who comes from their youth system, who's mm. still only what is he? Tw- he's twenty five years old. Now nah, you got to stick with him. Okay. I thought he was younger than that. Talk Sport Drive, super opinionated sporting debate, Monday to Friday afternoon from four on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.